Welcome back everyone. This is my March vlog, a little update for my happiness project for 2019. And as usual, I'm going to start off by kind of recapping um, how it went in February and what I have planned for March. So I just did some quick journaling about February and February went pretty much how I predicted it would. I found it very difficult to be so mindful of things that I do kind of second nature and tracking it helped me pay attention to that stuff a little bit more but I think I could have done a lot better with a little bit more practice and for my changes or things I want to keep or not keep from my happiness project I decided that I wanted to plan more of these little fun surprises uh, maybe not every single week, but on a more regular basis just because it's a nice way to, you know, get closer together and do things that we both enjoy. Now, the big question for March was uh, when I initially planned my happiness project, uh, for whatever reason, I thought that March was um, International Correspondence Writing Month, and it actually wasn't. That was in February, and so... My first goal for March uh, no longer applied, really, so so my first question was what do I want to do instead of IncoRIMO as a goal? So I was trying to think of ways to connect with people better because my theme for March is connection. I want to kind of grow relationships with, with people who are not my significant other. So I, the way I decided I would tackle this goal is to connect with people on social media in some kind of deeper way, so either a well thought out comment or perhaps a personal message. And my initial goal was to do this three times every day. Uh, I ended up getting really, really busy and so if I just managed to reach out to one person every day, I was counting that as a success later in the month. And then the other goals that I had for March uh, were no gossiping, giving out compliments to people, uh, and then also to call my mom and call my dad at least twice each throughout the month. And I just did a little bit of journaling in the before section. And ultimately, connecting with people is not that hard. It's just remembering to do it and actually putting forth the effort to do it that I find most challenging. I really enjoy talking to people. I enjoy, you know, making friends and sometimes you get so busy that you feel like the only thing you have room for is work and that shouldn't be how things go. So I want to spend this month trying to work more social interactions into my everyday life and, you know, maintain the connections that I've built up over the years. Now, at the beginning of this month, I didn't realize that I was going to have a very sudden surprise project, so the goals that I plugged into my bullet journal were not super ambitious, um, but they were kind of like a full month's worth of work, and so when this other project kind of came up out of nowhere, I ended up not having a lot of time to do anything else. And for that reason, also, this vlog is probably going to be a little bit short because I didn't get a lot of filming done. What I had hoped to get done this month was start doing some character art. I wanted to do three different pieces of character art, uh, write two short stories, uh, finish two kind of tasks on our game development, do my art video and a plan with me video, and then also get two things done on the mobile app I'm working on. Like I said, it was kind of a full plate of tasks, um, but they would have ended up getting shoved aside anyways because of this other project that came up that I will be able to talk about at the end of this video, so stay tuned if you want to know what that big secret project was. Another kind of unexpected thing that happened this month was that I caught the Battle Royale bug super bad. So it started with Tetris 99, which if you don't know, it's a Switch game. Um, you need a $4 subscription just to play it, but it is 
quote unquote free to play. Um, and I love Tetris. It's one of my favorite games ever and it has been since I was a child. So I played quite a bit of Tetris 99 and then at the same time, and this is super unusual because I, I do not like first person shooters as a rule, I almost never play them, but I started playing Apex Legends with some friends and that is a first person shooter battle royale game. And oh my gosh, it is like the most addictive game I've ever played. I have been playing it like every every bit of free time that I can find goes straight to Apex Legends. I'm not very good, but I've been having a lot of fun. And this also hit my goal for the month of reconnecting with friends. Um, it is very fun to play with friends. It's not very fun to play by yourself um, with just random people because it's much more fun if you can really communicate with your team but I found it difficult to set aside time to play video games because I have so much I want to do um, that I am usually working on something most of the time and so it's nice to take time to just relax a little bit. So I'm glad I got the opportunity to do that this month. Hey guys, I hope the wind sound isn't too bad or I might have to record this one, but just checking in, it's the beginning of March and it's 27 degrees outside because that's the kind of year we're having. I'm about to go to work, and then when I get home, I'm going to try and do some art. Um, that's my focus for this month is art, so my goal is to get three uh, kind of full character design pieces done, so I'm going to see how that goes. Um, today is March 8th, I think, and um, this week has been semi-productive, but also I've been playing a lot of video games, um, which isn't bad, you know, uh, we have to relax sometime. This week I've gotten done a big programming task for our game, so that was really good. I got that done last night after hitting a couple snags, and then... Um, I've been working on some art stuff because this month is my art focus. I am a little bit behind, um, which at this point is to be expected, but um, my main goal for this weekend is to kind of catch up on that and uh, figure out what I want to do for the rest of the month. Um, I have some vague ideas about what I want to do with my art, but I need to really solidify them, so that's what this weekend is going to be for. and. Um, I'll check in later. Hello, just checking in. Um, I haven't really been doing much video this week because I'm working on a super special secret. I'm working on a super secret project um, that I don't really want to talk about till it's done. But the good news is that it's moving pretty quickly, so I should be able to talk about it in maybe a week or so, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure if it'll make it this vlog, but I'm hoping it will. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be a really big change for me, so because it's kind of taken over my time, I haven't done much else. I have done quite a bit of art practice this month, so I'm keeping up with my focus uh, for my happiness project. I'm not sure if I'll do the three character drawing pieces that I wanted to do. Um, I'll try to do at least one. Yeah, so it's Saturday now, the 16th? I lose track of what day it is all the time. Um, I think it's the 16th, Saturday. It's definitely Saturday because I don't have to go to work today. I still got up kind of early though. I'm, I'm trying to keep my sleep schedule consistent so I'm not so tired on work days. But today I have some social activities planned, so I'm not sure how much of that I will vlog. Maybe I'll get some of it, maybe I won't. Um, but tomorrow I'll be back kind of in work mode and trying to get things done. The next two weeks of March ended up being mostly me going home, playing a bit of Apex, making dinner, and then studying all night. Um, as part of this project I was working on, I really needed to beef up my Android knowledge, and so 
I would go home and study for probably at least three hours a night. Hey guys, today is Wednesday, uh, March 20th, I think. Um, I'm still working on my big secret project. Um, I probably should just say what it is, but I don't want to talk about it in this vlog and then um, if it doesn't go well, uh, it's probably not something I should be posting about publicly, and that'll make sense uh, when I decide to talk about it, but um, I have been doing a lot of work for that, a lot of studying, and it's pretty much been sucking up all my time. Um, I would like to do some art in the next couple days, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, I'll check in this weekend, because this weekend I should kind of know. How things are going and what my next steps are going to be so sorry about all the cryptic stuff you know all the secrecy i think it'll make sense once i am done and probably some of you can already guess what i'm doing so um i'll i'll check in later maybe i'll tell you about it anyway even if it doesn't go well we'll see despite march starting with 27 degree weather it did get quite warm. Uh, we're pretty much in summer now with like 70 degree days, so that's pretty nice. I've been enjoying the outdoors quite a bit. And I also managed to get a little bit of Android development done um, in the last couple weeks. Since my secret project was Android related, I was able to kind of combine these two tasks and, and get some studying done as I worked on the project that I already wanted to do some work on. I've also been looking forward to April, which is Camp NaNoWriMo, so that's National Novel Writing Month, and then it's the camp version, so it's not quite as serious. The goal is a little bit more flexible, and so my, my big decision is whether I'm going to do a new project for it, or whether I'm going to do a draft or like an edit version of an existing project. I think first drafts are a lot of fun, but at the same time, I feel like I need to hone the skills needed for finishing a second draft because I, I haven't really been successful in a second draft yet. So that's the big question. I'm still thinking of the answer, um, but by April 1st, I will have to decide something. The last few days of March, I mostly spent knitting, relaxing, finishing up my rewatch of Game of Thrones before the new season comes out, and overall just chilled. I did have to rip out a couple of inches of my knitting and redo it because I made a mistake in the pattern, but other than that, everything went pretty much okay. Hey guys, I'm just closing out the vlog. So the big surprise that I wasn't able to talk about all month is that I got a new job. Um, it might seem silly to some people um, to think of a, getting a job as a project, but when you are a software developer, and especially when you get kind of into higher skill levels, uh, it really is like a whole project. I think I went through six different interviews, and so I had to study for each of them. It was very important that I review concepts that I had touched on during my education that I haven't used as much in the past uh, six years, so, so that's what I did. Uh, I'm going to be starting a new job in mid-April, and it's going to be pretty taxing, so there may be changes to what you see here on YouTube, there may be changes to what you see on Instagram, but I'm going to do my best to keep things consistent and, uh, you know, be open about what my schedule looks like uh, with you guys so you know what to expect here. And with that, um, I would call March a success. Um, I'm pretty pleased with my new job. Um, I've been in my current job for almost six years, so it's kind of crazy to me that I'm moving on to something else. So it's going to be an adventure. And before I close out the vlog, I just want to revisit my happiness project page in my bullet journal. At the beginning and ending of every month, I like to do this journaling. And so in March, the biggest challenge I found was just finding the time to stay connected with people, especially with my job search, which soaked up so much of my free time. I just didn't have a lot of time to even browse social media, much less think up some like proper comments, you know, really 
contribute to the conversation on someone's post. So it's difficult to keep connected even over the internet when you're so busy. And so connecting with people in person was almost impossible. And for me, being social has kind of always taken a backseat to things that I see as more work-related, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So the changes I want to make going forward is that I want to maintain the spirit of connection, but I need to find a place for it in my everyday routine so I'm not kind of leaving it up to fate whether it happens or not. And I think this is especially important right now as I'm transitioning into a new job because I'm going to be surrounded by new people and I'm going to need to find common ground with them. As for my individual goals, March went okay. Um, like I said, I did not have much time to truly connect with people on social media, but I did abstain from gossip pretty well, and I also doled out some compliments. I have a lot of really nice friends that I'm very grateful for, so it was pretty easy for me to think of ways to express that, to express what I, what I like about each of my friends in a way that uh, seemed fairly natural to me. I did not call my parents as much as I wanted to. It was just a time commitment that I didn't feel I had in the evenings, and then on the weekends I was really trying to recuperate from the week of work. So I can definitely be better about that, but I did keep in touch with my mom over text a little bit and my dad as well, so it wasn't as though I completely ignored them for the entire month. With that, I'm going to look ahead to April. I have a lot of things planned for April, um, such as Camp NaNoWriMo, I have some goals to write and do art every day, which is going to be very challenging. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see how April goes, if you want to check back here again in a month to check out my April vlog, that would be really great. So that's it for this vlog, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon with another bullet journaling video. I'm also going to be trying to participate in the 100 day project, so you might see some video content related to that as well. So thanks again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!